in Iowa in, incurs the biggest meltdown maybe in, in voting history, I would say, at this point. Besides, you brought up Florida off air. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously Florida was a shit show. Yes. But um, so far, well, it, the problem there was manual. Like, uh, when you go to a recount, there's a lot more scrutiny. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it's interesting that they came out so fast and, uh, you know, and made an announcement and then started releasing results. Now, they're claiming, the DNC there is claiming that they don't have any there's no uh, air. No, I'm sorry, there are errors, but there's no like foul play or anything like that. Like nobody tried to hack it. It was just a fucking mistake. The app sucked. Right. So which we should have seen coming because the last time, you know, the Democratic Party tried to roll out a major piece of technology. It was the Affordable Care Act website, and it crashed immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> for months, by the way, it yeah, was down for like two months or yeah. something crazy. Um. So no surprise there, but it's they're they're saying that the the numbers they're putting out now aren't tainted okay uh which is you know obviously they're gonna say that but even cnn um is who ha it's not in their best interest to talk about how fucked up this whole thing is because they clearly support the left um and uh but they, they even they said just a few minutes ago that somebody one of the people that works at the company at, at the higher level mm -hmm. that made this app uh, they're someone that's related to them or their spouse or some shit like that has worked for the Bougie's campaign currently does. Yes. Or currently does. Yeah. Okay. So that's not a good look. I mean, no. that's well, you really want to avoid stuff like that <laughs> if you can help it. But you know, look, they're not doing it. And, uh, <laughs> now, uh, people have said mayor cheat, Yep. This week, I think cheat and Pete is probably what Trump will go Ooh, with. Ooh, I like cheat and Pete a lot. I think you're going to see the phrase cheat and Pete on Twitter probably before this day is over. Um, sometime before midnight, I would expect to see it. Unless Trump's got other shit going on, then you'll see it tomorrow morning. Yeah, you know, oddly enough, he does. He's got a little thing called the State of the Union uh, address tonight. That yeah, but be. that doesn't mean he he actually, <laughs> God, I wish there was a bet on this. Uh, so do I. What are the chances that Trump says cheat and Pete at the fucking State of the Union address Whew. tonight? Uh, there, so, by the way, the, uh, the pre-roll for this uh, show says yeah. uh, Trump is going to go all in on his impeachment foes tonight live on tv because they'll be there it's, this is from the house itself so yeah. they're going to be sitting in front of him well Buttigieg won't be there nancy pelosi will be gator clapping florida gator clapping you know, she can clap all she wants back. She... i want to see him clap back and turn around and clap back to her and just be like mm, cool mm. um because look you have this iowa caucus disaster is what everybody's calling it it's the hashtag that's been number one on twitter for the last 48 hours essentially um which uh, again another black eye for the, the 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 democratic party and the dnc now is the state of the union uh with trump um who not only gets to make fun of this because you know he's going all in on iowa tonight uh you know he's going all in on the people that try to impeach him tonight and then tomorrow he's going to get acquitted from this impeachment um that that by all appearances seems like another hoax and a ruse uh my question is this you had three years, three years to just pick a candidate that could win. Instead, you focused on marching, crying, bitching, uh, a fake Russia hoax based on a, a dossier which mm -hmm. um, was paid for by the Clinton campaign of Russian prostitutes pissing on a bed. Um, that's real that they, they paid for this and that they actually tried to put this out. Well, you know, now Iran is saying they're going to publish it. Which is funny. Um, I saw somebody in this. Uh, Jared and I are in this group with a bunch of uh, extremely left-leaning people, mm -hmm. and we uh, just to do it, just to troll them, yeah, just talk shit. Uh, but we hang out in there, and it's like somebody posted that earlier today, and I'm like, all right, so you're this is what you're telling me, uh, Mr. Democrat. Uh, you're siding with Iran over a sitting U.S. president. Yeah. Maybe get those priorities in order. <laughs> like if you're you're not you're no longer you're no longer uh, rooting for your country. You're rooting for your political party, and that is a problem. It's a problem that George Washington warned us about. As a matter of fact. Yeah, you know it's funny. You posted that the other yeah. day on on your Instagram. Uh, are you at Dan Holloway on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Yeah, f follow him. I love your memes, by the way, and your stories. <laughs> um, but I, I read that, and you know it was very prophetic, obviously. Um, yeah. But 
But it is what it is. I mean, that's where we are now. Like, if you're, whether you're a Republican or Democrat or Libertarian or fucking Tea Party or Progressive or whatever, Green Party, whatever stupid bullshit you subscribe to, mm-hmm. um, if you're rooting for that in lieu of the best for, like, look, think about it as a football game, an ideological football game. I want you to run the ball, run the fucking ball. But you know what? Sometimes you're going to throw it and like, oh, shit, that worked. Good. Yeah. If your team wins at the end of the day, then who gives a shit how you got there? Like the the, yeah. econ- the economy is pretty good. A lot of stuff is going pretty well for people. Unemployment's down, particularly for minorities. All that bullshit. Uh, so, if you look at a success, and because you disagree with the methodology, you start rooting against your country and for your political party, then brother, you are a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what your political party is if you're a Republican or Democrat. Mm-hmm.